as always, this is pretty difficult to confirm, as you mentioned there, because there's no independent journalists on the ground there in Russian-occupied eastern Ukraine. But we've seen some images on social media of some ruins of you know, some obvious fresh uh, destruction on some buildings and now the local Russian occupation authorities claim that there were actually civilians staying there. That's something that's been disputed by the Ukrainian side but it seems to kind of fit the broader picture of Ukraine's strategy of attacking the place where these Russian soldiers or Russian mercenaries are staying behind the front lines. This is not a million miles away from Bakhmut, the city in Eastern Ukraine and Donbass that are seeing the worst of the fighting where Russia is seemingly desperate to clock up any kind of victory, however small it can. Uh, reports of a strike uh, this time on what the Ukraine say was a base of uh, Russian or Chechen fighters within the Russian army uh, and you know, again an attack on the place they were staying but this kind of seems to be at least what the Ukrainian army wants us to talk about. There's been lots of uh, suggestion that this could be basically the next focus. This is slightly east of the city of Kherson. This is on the kind of corridor between Crimea, the land corridor between Crimea and Russia proper. Suggestion here that Ukraine might try and kind of break that corridor in two by heading south and taking back more territory. стратегия наша применения средств защиты, а именно как защиту мы рассматриваем оружие массового поражения, ядерное оружие, она вся настроена вокруг так называемого ответно-встречного удара. То есть, когда по нам наносится удар, мы наносим в ответ.